Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about adding video to your website. But we are not looking at standard video players or basic embeds. If you look at some of the best design sites out there, you'll notice they're using video in much more interesting ways, treating it more like a design element and often even as a design foundation than just content to watch. So in this video, I want to show you several unique approaches inspired by real-world examples. We'll cover blending, masking, typography and shaders, and look at how you can mix these effects in your own projects. Let's get to it. To see this video trend in action, we don't have to look far. If we go to awards page and check some of the latest designs, motion is everywhere. Whether it's a video, a shader, or maybe an animation, it might even be some combination of all three actually. So I pulled up a few recent page of the day winners that we're going to focus on today. First, we have Artyom's portfolio and check out this inversion effect where the typography acts like a lens, flipping the colors of the video behind it for that high contrast editorial look. And it's the same effect that Lachazar uses in his portfolio. We can see when the object in the background rotates, it changes the color of the headline here. So it's the first effect we're going to recreate today. Then we have a glance portfolio and here we have this cool 3D tilted card that shows just a glimpse of the animation in the background. So Glenn actually does not use a video here in the background, but for our case, we're gonna use video and we're going to recreate a very similar effect. Then we're gonna look at Creative Giants website with a cool effect where text essentially cuts through a white overlay and also it's blurred on top of it. So the readability of the text here increases as well. So we're going to recreate this effect in full. So we're gonna have this white overlay with text that cuts through it and this part is going to be blurred and the rest of the video is not going to be blurred. It's going to make a very cool effect. And then you can go to the motto page and we see this very cool editorial video in the background with just simply white copy and a lot of elements on top of it. So we're gonna see how switching between inverted and white copy makes our website feel different. Now, some of these might look complex, but these effects actually break down into a few core techniques like blending and masking, which we can easily recreate in Bolt. On top of all that, we're going to mix our videos with a few shaders to check how that changes the vibe of our website. So let's see how it's done. Now for this video, I took a bit of a different approach. I've already gone ahead and recreated all of these effects I've just mentioned inside a single Bolt project. I've also created a few videos beforehand and uploaded them into the public folder. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't have to create your own videos. You can ask Bolt to use placeholder videos and replace them whenever you want. I've also added a ton of customization options. So you can try different fonts, different videos and effects. I've left a remix link and a live demo link right in the description below. So you can open it up, remix it and check how all of that feels on your own device. But to really master all of these effects and be able to experiment with your own projects, you need to know how to prompt Bolt properly. So right now, I'm going to walk you through each effect one by one. I'll show you the exact prompts and that you don't really have to worry about being extra specific with all of these effects. So let's start with the first one. So first up, let's tackle the effect that both Artyom and Lachas are used in their portfolios, so this inverted text effect. So how do we get Bolt? To achieve this for us, we can ask it in a semi-professional way to use CSS mix blend mode, difference for color inversion effect where text inverts colors of video beneath it. But we don't have to know that CSS mix blend mode even exists. We can just use plain English to get the exact same effect. So we'd ask Bolt to add big text over a video that changes color based on what's behind it. Light parts become dark and dark parts become light. And this is gonna get us where we want to be. We just explain to our best ability how we want it to look. Bolt figures out the way how to code it. And I've added a bunch of keywords and you can use them in your prompt if you want to get the same effect in your project. But as I mentioned, just use plain English, describe the effect you want to get and Bolt will do the rest. Now with this effect, we can also experiment a bit. So I've prepared an alternative version called framed headline. And this, I feel, gives this effect a bit more cinematic feel. And obviously we can customize font, colors and effects as well. So in this case, 
if you want to try out how a different font would look for the headline, we can try out, let's say, darker grotesque or instrument serif. We can change the weight of the font. We can change the spacing. And I would say, especially with different fonts, when you experiment with them, you can feel that the entire vibe of the website changes just by using a different font. We have many more other customization options here, and I'm going to show more of them in the next few minutes. But for now, with the first effect in the back, let's move on to the second one. So the second effect is the one that Glenn used for his portfolio. So this very cool tilted cart. This was my first attempt on recreating this effect. And as you can see, it's not exactly the same as what Glenn did. I have the alternative ready, and this is the effect that Glenn created. So here you can see when I tilt the cart, we can see different bits of the video masked behind this rectangle. And here, when we tilt the cart, we always see the exact same cropped version of the video. So here for the prompt for this effect, I've asked Bolt to display a floating cart that tilts and rotates as I move my mouse. So on hover, I wanted this tilt effect. This wasn't precise enough to get the exact effect we wanted. So this sort of a window cart. When we look at the prompt here, what I should have explained to Bolt is that I wanted a mask. So the specific keyword that was very helpful for me to explain this effect was masking. Now, when I've asked Bolt what would be the best prompt to explain this effect, it came up with this. I would have no idea to ask it for CSS clip path polygon that follows 3D projected card corners. But in plain English, the video peeks through the angled opening. This is closer to what I would come up with for this specific project. So, you know, even myself sometimes when I haven't seen the effect before and I don't know how to achieve a specific 3D or perspective effect, I try to explain it in plain English the best I can. Good for me that I knew the word masking from the Photoshop times and I figured, okay, this should explain to Bolt what I want to achieve. It wasn't the perfect word, but it was close enough that Bolt understood my request. And you can always use plain English. You could probably get to this effect without using the word masking, but it might take a few more iterations. So sometimes knowing those specific keywords can be very helpful in getting there sooner. And the more you vibe code, the more you organically learn about those keywords. But until you learn more of them, just do the best you can explaining what you want to get. And in a few iterations, you're going to get the desired result. And now we are ready to get to our third effect. So now the third effect, and it might be my favorite one out of this series, is the one used by Creative Giants. So we have this huge white rectangle at the top and the text that cuts through that rectangle shows the video behind the text with this cool blurred effect. So how do we get Bolt to get this effect? Well, basically we describe it in the same way. So we have the text that cuts through a white overlay or that we have letters cut out and Bolt will understand what we mean perfectly. So to get this blurred effect on top of that, all we have to do is we have to ask Bolt to literally blur the video behind the text. And I've asked Paul to add it as a setting. So here we can see when we enable the blur, it has this very cool premium feel. So as I said, it might be my favorite effect. I can see it being used in so many different projects and in all of them, I'm sure it's going to definitely stand out in a very good way. Now my favorite part, customization. So with all of these effects we've talked about today, there are so many different things we can do with them. So for example, taking inspiration from the Modo website. We don't have to use the inversion, obviously. We can try how the headline would look like if it wouldn't be inverted. And I would say it also looks quite good. And again, when we change the copy, I'm gonna use my favorite instrument serif. When we change weight of it, we can experiment with the size and we have a very different feel of this landing page. Now, when we go to the knockout headline, for example, we see this looks really nice. We can try to use different video. So let's say we can use the minimal video of this forest here. I think it looks really cool. Now I also added some shaders here 
from paper design. So we have, for example, mesh gradient that we can combine with the video. We have dithering with the wave. We have grain gradient and we have the dot grid that also changes the vibe of this website. Now, here, when we use the mesh gradient, when we use this font, this video, it looks quite cool. When we go to frame headline again, here it still looks really nice. I feel it looks actually quite beautiful. But if we go back to the inversion, now I think it's a bit too much. So it's still a balance of making it look really cool, but at the same time, making sure that it's readable and that the user still enjoys the experience as much as they should. So feel free to go to the live demo, remix it if you want and see what sort of different effects you can create yourself. There's basically infinite amount of options that you can do with all those videos and shaders that we have here. So you can really go wild, go bold, be creative, adapt it to your own projects and really have fun with all of those effects. So today we've moved past basic embeds and we turned video into real design material. If there's any specific effect you'd like us to cover next, let us know in the comments. Until then, have fun remixing and playing with this project and I'll see you in the next one.